You can come too, Summer. of Idaho you got snowing on that mountain over there and then you just pan over to the I west did. and then over here nice and sunny Hey, fire chief. This is a Pollen Pro, just an old climbing saw. This guy put a carving bar on it. And the important thing, that's the carving bar, it, it yeah, tapers at the it's end? It's got a hard nose tip, okay. so it gets kind of hot, but it doesn't have a roller, okay. so they can get them as small, you know, this is this one here looks like uh, it might be a nickel tip. Okay. This one here is a quarter tip, it's a little bit bigger, it's okay. got the hardened steel all the way back to here, you can see. Okay. Just a carving bar, but the echo saws seem to be really good carving okay. saws. This is an older one. All right. Uh, I do have a bigger echo over here. Do you work with that thing? This thing, yeah, it's CFC thousand. It makes a lot of noise, um, but it it is good for just making the bottoms flat, flushing everything up first. Okay. Squaring it all up. For the Amanita mushroom top, we're gonna use the big end for the top. This is the outer cambium lid. Since this log isn't that old, we're gonna get rid of that. That still had moisture in it. Um, it's not going to last as long as the core wood. So that'll be the top of the mushroom. Okay. Um, and the bottom is obviously on Emmy is a lot narrower, but we're not going to go too narrow because we don't want it to fall over.
Man, that's some crazy detail, bro. That is just this right here. That's the skirt. You know what you're doing. That's, you've been looking at it. This is my favorite mushroom. This is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Beautiful, yeah, man. I like those. That is beautiful. No, I'm doing it. I have to let it cool down now. Man. <laughs> but it, how, how much more can you do to it? A lot more, right? <laughs> That's, yeah, I mean, obviously, an artist is never done. Wow. Okay. What do you guys think? It's beautiful. That's cool, Daddy. <laughs> Make a mess in a hurry, don't I? I want uh, all those as lamps in my house. That was, you know what I mean? Just a light bulb. Oh, it'd be beautiful. Man, that's So now so I usually, uh, I got a grinder with it. Summer, wheel on back it, off. So I don't have to get too crazy with the chainsaw. I mean, okay. You can get really crazy, but right. it's easier with it is a die mushroom. grinders and Take a picture of polish it up. I'm taking a picture of you right now. Movement picture. It's, it's motion picture, it's bud. Video, and I kind of figured the white speckles we could just burn on the top. Okay, yeah, yeah. He said as far as you want to go, I'm not going to stop you. That's great. It's, it's pretty easy just to put something down and then mm -hmm. burn around it so it looks like the white of the wood sticks out. Knock the ridges off here. Make it look more round. This is just a steel or whatever type of uh, wood eater bit. <laughs> oh, is I got it. This is the cheaper version. Is that the technical technical term? No, I think they call these like cut saw. They okay. make some they make some fancier ones on the internet. This is just a Harbor Freight version. Okay. They actually sell these for like ten bucks, and they wow. work great for. Couple days. Even wet wood, even really? wet they do. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Harbor Freight's good, good for that. Yeah, some of the stuff is really good. Some of it's not. You see how it just chews it up. One of the quickest ways I like to finish the rest of this is each direction you go has a plane and just make even the planes out. Kind of the, the easiest way. Heavy grit. Okay. Sander with a rubber pack pad, so it kind of contours a little better. Wow, that's looking awesome. What's your name, honey? Maya. What is it? Viola? Maya. 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 Your dad's an your, your dad's an artist. You know, Maya's my sister. Do you know that your dad's an artist? Yeah. 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 Hold this thing steady. If you don't hold it flush, it'll burn right under it. <laughs> And all it really says is that it uh, protects from drying and cracking. And so the only thing you might worry about with something like this is if you're going to stick it somewhere where it never gets any sun and it's in water. Okay. Then I do not know if this will mold or mildew. Okay. You might want something with chemicals right. if you're going to put it out in a garden okay. somewhere where it's going to rot. No, this will get a bunch of sunlight. Okay. And things. And then one in his ear. And I coated him like three days ago, and they're, they're still tightened up a bit. Oh, good. So you'll see them stretch out a little bit more. Right. And then I'll do it again. Just so that 
the core of this thing gets gets the oil. And then once, like I said, once you do it two or three times, it keeps getting deeper and deeper. Come on up. You guys play 